Hey you guys, oh yeah, just candid. Hey guys, we have a uh, question um, from Twitter. Hi. Yes! With uh, y'all skin 6 b weight yes. hashtag yes. from yes. Leah. Yes. Leah? Leah? Leah. She Leah, asks, Leah, Leah. if you had the chance to talk to the queen you were portraying, what would you ask her? Oh my gosh. Isn't that a good question? That is an awesome that, question. That, oh, that just made me feel some, something. Like, well, I know, I would ask Catherine of Aragon, like, how did she do it? Because she... To, to carry such grief and, and just heartache um, yeah. dealing with Henry and for her to have such integrity and like grace the entire time and also still wanting to, still feeling like she did wrong. Um, there was a, what was like a, she had a speech at the Black Friars, I believe that's what it was called, the court. And um, just making her final plea and being like, hey, if I ever did anything wrong to make you want to annul this marriage, please, like, please let me know and I will go. But that's why you have it in the song, which is really, it's really brilliant. But yeah, yeah. I would just ask mm -hmm. her, like, how did you, how did you keep your joy? How did your heart, how did you continue to live after all of that? And yeah. she just died with dignity the yeah. entire time. Yeah. yeah. So good. That's a good question. There's so many more, though. Whew. I know. Um, I think mine would be, one of, one of the things that fascinated me about <laughs> Anna Cleese, besides, like, her story, and that she's, like, a baller, was that how, how do you... She, she was very selfless in her, like, um, after her reign as queen, her very short-lived reign as queen. And, like, how do you befriend a man that spoke down to you and just degraded you in such a way? How do you befriend someone that... And, like, she, she not only forgave him, but, like, befriended him and then was, like a sub mother to like his children mm -hmm. like a really cool aunt and yeah. like was there for the coronation of queen elizabeth mm -hmm. the first and and she came back and forth to 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 um to the palace whenever she wanted but mostly she never went back home mm -hmm. and i was i i've always thought it was interesting like why did you never go back home? She grew up in a wonderful household with a wonderful family. Her parents, her father, she had a very liberal household and liberal in the way of uh, religiously speaking because that was really big um, back then. And so I've always wondered why she never just left and went back home and, and lived a very fulfilled life and actually got married. She never remarried again. She never... So, like, what, what made her stay? What did she feel like she missed if anything what did she feel like she had to prove if anything I, I think there's a big question mark and yes yeah, she's this like queen and you know all of this stuff and she got all this stuff but what did she feel like she didn't get why she never went back home mm. yeah yeah good. good question good question Anna, good question. Hey, Anna do you want to answer um sure um sure. I think I would ask Catherine Part because we do so much talking about like everything was bad and Thomas was wonderful and in the story that we tell on stage it doesn't actually go into how she got to marry Thomas after Henry VIII died but I want to know if Thomas was worth the wait was he as good as six the musical and the storybooks portray him as as this like love of her life which maybe he genuinely was but like you know how guys were back then <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm just curious, like, did she actually ever find her happiness? Yeah. Truly. Did that happen? I hope the answer is yes. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. If you had the chance to talk to Anne Boleyn, what would you ask her? Man. <laughs> Good one, right? I would probably ask her what is her favorite music to dance to and what her favorite store is. <laughs> and what she likes to do to um, for self-care. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> hey Sam, if you had the chance to talk to Kay Howard, what would you ask her? I think I would probably ask her I wouldn't want it to be anything too deep because, like, I already know that her story is sad. So maybe I'd ask her what her favorite animal is. Cool. 
That's a good one. <laughs> um, if I could ask Jane Seymour a question, I would ask her, did you love him? I, I like want to know what was this man like? What what was the truth? What was the relationship? Come in. It's Kate. Come in, Kate. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm dropping off our in-ear monitors and our Timex trackers. So all the ladies wear a little tracker that basically allows them to move about the stage. And as they move about the stage, you hear their voices come from where they are. Pretty cool. That is very cool. And then Thanks. everybody also has an in-ear monitor, which they are listening to a custom mix of whatever they want to hear. Like Mozart or like... <laughs> like of the Kanye. show. Oh, okay. Of the show. Okay. Awesome. I mean, I'd be impressed if y'all could do the show with Absolutely Kanye. Absolutely not. It, no, it's, it's <laughs> kind of... Um, That'd be pretty good. Cool! So, yeah. And you're backstage. I'm backstage most of the time. Um, once we open and we really get running, I'll probably be out front mixing the show three right. times a week, right. which means Josh, our A1, won't be back here doing what I'm doing. He'll be Just dropping it. off, checking in. Here in so. the bucket. Awesome. Here in the bucket. Awesome. Oh, Thanks, Kate. Yeah, we'll nice see you see soon. You. Uh, hey, queens. I can't say yachts queen like Abby can, so I'm not even going to try. Um, I'm Rachel. I'm the assistant stage manager. Abby is off being fabulous. And I'm a team player, so I'm just going to walk you guys around a little bit. Um, this is our queens who inspire us wall. We put up, you know, like Beyonce, Ariana, Nicki Minaj is down there. But we also have put up your fan art because your fan art inspires us and we love it. All right, here we go. So Abby likes to travel in her little videos. So I am traveling right now to a very, very special guest. Her name is Emma Bailey and she designed this set. Oh yeah, uh-huh. All right, here we go. There she is over here. There she is hiding. The fabulous Emma Bailey. I probably should have asked if I could walk on stage, but you know what? Here we are. Who designed this set? Woo! So Emma, talk us through what went through your mind designing this? How did you get started? Just tell us some fun facts. So um, the set's a bit of a mashup, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, Lucy, Jamie, and myself had a lot of pop references that we were all really excited um, to riff on. Uh, but obviously we wanted to get a bit of a Tudor thing going on. So this is the kind of melding of two worlds, this kind of crazy pop LED aesthetic. And yeah. Oh yeah, sorry Tim. And um, the kind of Tudor symbolism and references that we all know and love. Well, maybe not in America, but definitely in the UK. So we've created a little like Tudor court. We wanted the band to be on stage because they're wicked and part of the action. So they're very much part of the design. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted it to be a circle because that's really inclusive and we wanted it to be like democratic so like there wasn't any hierarchy to who was the best so that the audience could make that decision. But if you see the show, it ends up slightly different um, to that. So yeah, we have a bit of a crown involved because it's all about the queens up there. Um, we've got a lot of sex and mesh because we love mm. the transparencies and like adding layers to what you see in front of you. We've also sexy. Yes. sexy mesh, sexy yeah. Tudor mesh. And then around here is our kind of is our um, laser cut LED wall, which we're all really excited about. Mm -hmm. That uh, is special to this show, and it curves around the whole back, and it's a special moment that we reveal later on in tricks. Yeah, it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a Tudor design. So I tried to like feed in like little moments that wasn't overbearing or too religious or political, but give you a flavor <laughs> of um, some of the history and things you might have seen at the time of Henry VIII. <laughs> That's dope. I won't lie, one of my favorite things, I know this is a combination between you and lighting, but you guys see those beautiful lighting towers? I don't think you all know what it takes 
to make a Broadway musical. I wish I had more light, but there are millions and millions of cables back here to make these beautiful, beautiful things work. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. This is for each light tower, for what you can see right here. There's even so much more you cannot see. Emma, what's your favorite part of this set? Ooh, well we've talked about the sexy meshes. Still uh -huh. not one of my favorites. Oh. And we now have a throne. Oh my God, let's go see it. Well, it's let's currently go see it. hidden. It's currently hidden, but we can at least go look into the floor where it pops yeah. out. I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone. Oh, that's that true. But you can't see it. But can't see it, but imagine a throne. There's some sparkles. Maybe they can check out the sparkles. Oh, some, some, some. Yeah. 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 It's a good, it's a good show-stopping moment. Right. It's a good show-stopping moment, and like we're not giving it away. You can't tell where that throne is coming from. I think you should come see the show. Yeah. See how it works, the right? Arrives, definitely. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's like all pretty great, to be honest. Sorry. All right. Well, Emma, thank you. No Anything else you want to say? Uh, <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Emma Bailey, our wonderful set designer. And um, this is the Yacht Queen vlog. So yeah. here we are. Thanks, okay. Rachel. Thanks, Thanks, Abby. Yeah. Abby's not here, but. You know what? Abby. We love her anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. To the show, to the history.